Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean with Top Speed Pro One Performance here in Addison, Texas. Today we've got another video for you. We're going to talk about the valve actuator or the valve controller as it's known also. So you can see uh, this valve controller is what controls the factory valve function or if you have a remote valve third party that you purchase like an aftermarket version this will work the same way but as you can see there's a vacuum line that connects to this valve controller and there's a, a pump that vacuums the the air pressure back to open this up and close it so that's basically the functionality that it has you can see these on all of our valve uh, exhaust systems that we sell but one of the problems we come into uh, at, from time to time is you'll see that that's a real smooth function, right? If you ever hear any noise when you open your valve controller, you, sometimes you can even hear it from inside the car or outside the car. But if there's ever any noise or squeaking, you're going to know that there's probably some dirt or corrosion inside there. So what you're going to need to do is spray uh, some lithium grease. Do not use WD-40. WD-40, a lot of people think that that's a lubricant, but it's actually a solvent. So you don't want to use that. You want to use lithium grease inside here to lubricate that. Now, you may use uh, some Electro Wash first to clean that out uh, if it's really dirty, uh, which is Electro Wash is a drying agent too, so it'll, it'll lubricate and dry. But ultimately, you're going to want to use the lithium grease inside there. Push it back and forth until it smooths, you know, goes back smoothly and freely. But uh, once again, don't use WD-40. You can also lubricate this area as well, too. Um, so if your exhaust has any black smoke, you know that that's not really coming from the exhaust. That's coming from your engine. And if you, if you have problems with your engine combustion uh, and you see a lot of you know, carbon buildup inside here, that means that there's a problem inside the engine, not with the exhaust. And eventually that can cause this to not close all the way. If that happens then you're going to have problems with your exhaust. It's going to sound like it's leaking. It's not going to sound very good. So, uh, you know, always keep your engine uh, tuned up and in good shape, and it'll also keep your exhaust in good shape as well. So we hope that helps. Uh, thanks for tuning in to another video from Top Speed Pro One Performance. Stay tuned for the next video, and we'll see you then.